All right, section 1.4, uh, example five, uh, solving this equation. Now we just learned, uh, these are doing, this is an example of a question that has extraneous solutions. Uh, I will show you how that works. Um, the first thing we need to do is we need to rewrite this. So this can be 3n plus 18 equals 6n and or it also is 3n plus 18 equals a negative 6n. Okay, the absolute values, you break them into two uh, equations. So let's get n by doing subtraction property of equality. We're subtracting 3n on both sides. And we get 18 equals 3n. And then after that, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So 18 divided by 3 is 6. 3's cancel out and you get n. n equals 6. Now I can make sure that this is correct by uh, checking my answer. So we're going to do a check. I'm going to plug this into the original uh, equation. Uh, if you look on the example in your book, they, they find two answers, but they are going to check both of them to make sure that they do work. And so we're going to put 6 into this. Absolute value of 3 times 6 plus 18 equals 6 times 6. So we have absolute value of 18 plus 18, the absolute value. 6 times 6 is 36. 18 plus 18 is 36. And the absolute value of 36 is 36. So yes, check. That one does work. Now the next one, let's solve the next one. We have to subtract 3n on both sides. And that gives us 18 equals a negative 9n. We're going to divide both sides by that negative 9. So you have 18 divided by negative 9 is negative 2 equals n. Okay, so there's our other answer. Now let's check it. Negative 2 into our original formula. 3 times negative 2 plus 18 close to the absolute value. 6 times negative 2. So we get absolute value of negative 6 plus 18 absolute value equals negative 12. Minus 6 plus 18, or 18 minus 6, is 12 equals negative 12. Does the absolute value of 12 equal negative 12? It does not. No. So this is not a solution. Okay? Only this one. So that's what it means when you have extraneous solutions. Okay?